Hello everyone, I am Divya, your math facilitator and I am back with a solid video for you. So as you have seen the thumbnail already, it is strategic plan of how to score 10 on 10. So our target is going to be 10 on 10. And let me tell you the practical way of how to score 10 on 10. And I am going to give you a perfect timetable. I am not asking you to make a timetable, but I am giving you a timetable which you can, you know, adjust accordingly with your school timings okay and uh, your pre-finals you have in between so uh, next video i will be releasing upon the pre-final dates as well so stay tuned to the channel and this video is going to be super important for you and it's same for both telangana and ap because i'll tell you the reasons also for that okay so just watch the video till end so that you'll get the complete strategy of what we are going to do in the channel as well as what i want you to do by yourself so that you can score 10 on 10 okay and trust me this is the channel uh, which has bagged lot of 10 on 10 points even during the covid time so even when we had no schools no classes so our channel back 10 on 10, so many 10 on 10 points just with last one, two months revision. Okay, so the same we are going to do now as well. Okay, so let's begin the session. And AP people, one more important announcement for you. So you have your S7 examination, I know, but I'm not able to do any perfect, uh, you know, short video for you where I can explain you all the concepts because it is impossible to explain all the concepts right now. So I suggest you give your S7 by yourself. Okay, whatever score you get, you just analyze it. And after your S7 exams, you can follow the plan which I'm giving you right now. Okay, so let's start. Yes. So firstly, I just want you all to say, uh, understand that if you are a person, okay, you, who is aiming something, but you don't know which route to follow, then you are always at the crossroad and you are always confused where to go. Okay. So this channel will give you the guidance of where to go, not only where to go, how you can go till you reach your goal. It is my responsibility that I take towards your goal in the right direction right path okay so let's begin so all you need to do is just trust the channel completely as your seniors have done and follow whatever content we are giving you in the channel so that you know you don't miss out your timetable and you do it perfectly okay right so as you can see here i have taken the exam dates AP, you have your exam on 10th April, max exam I'm talking about and Telangana, you have it on 8th April. But whatever the dates are, you cannot go till 8th because both of you have your exams starting from 3rd April. So even if it is other subject also, you cannot, you know, do any other subject when your exams are going on. So 3rd April is the deadline when your exams are starting. Now till 3rd April, till 2nd April also I cannot give you any revision because 2nd April, 1st April you will be learning for your 3rd April exam. So when should we stop our revision? We should stop our revision somewhere in the month of March itself. Okay. So as of now, if we divide the time, we have Jan, Feb and March. Okay. So January, February and March we have for your revision. Out of which, again, I have divided your revision into two slots. So, it is minimum that we have two revisions. First revision and second revision. Okay. All of this will happen in the channel only. You don't have to worry at all. How to do, when to do. Don't worry at all. I will plan out everything for you. Okay. So, you'll have first revision and second revision. And as of now, I'm taking the dates from 5th of January because AP students are also writing their exams. And the TS students also, you'll just take a gap of 2-3 days and from 5th April, we are going to start. Okay. And uh, sorry, 5th of January, we are going to start. So, 5th of January to 31st January, you have 26 days, around 26 days. So, all these 26 days, I'm going to utilize. Okay, and from February 1st to 28th, you have 28 days in February, but then out of 28 days, I'm taking only 22 days of yours. Okay, now what will you do in the remaining days? Any backlogs you have, okay, any classes you missed, all those you will cover it in the remaining days and also you'll have your pre-finals and all. So you will be busy there. Okay, so only 22 days I'm taking there and here 26 days I'm taking in January, February 22 days. So total you can see it is 48 days. 
so 48 days you will have first revision okay when which date which which day which topic everything i will tell you okay so you will have first revision for 48 days which means entire textbook thoroughly we are going to complete even if you are a person who did not even start who did not even who don't even know the syllabus of 10th class trust me you will be perfect in these 48 days 48 days are more than enough for us to complete the syllabus in detail okay so even if you have your exams revision test weekly test and any test in your school which you have you can continue the exam and you can attend the class because this is going to be a detailed session so you don't have to worry of how to cover your syllabus every day 40 minutes class let's take for your revision okay max is very important so 40 minutes every day we shall take it okay now see march you have 31 days in march okay out of 31 days i'm taking 28 days again you'll have your pre-final also but don't worry i'm going to plan the session in such a way that it will not disturb your pre-final and you can study the other subjects as well now all these 48 days here 28 days first revision second revision everything is planned in such a way that not only max you can do your other subjects as well okay so it's not that we are doing only max for all the three months and you you fail in other subjects it's not like that we shall do all the subjects okay so as of now i'm giving you the syllabus or the detailed plan for max and then you will have a lot of time for other subjects as well okay so every day let me tell you on an average from 35 to 45 minutes we will be doing max every day okay till 48 days we will be doing january and february we will complete first revision and the next 28 days we will be doing and you will complete the second revision okay let me firstly talk about first revision and in second revision you will have only and only and only the most important things okay uh, we will be doing the most important things so it's going to be 10 on 10 revision i can say because you will score 10 on 10 completely so we are not going to miss even a single bit also okay even if you are a dull student you will you don't have to worry okay and objectives you know huge weightage is given for objective questions so that also we will cover each and every objective type question okay so i hope all the doubts which might have striked your mind so they are clear now and i hope i can get into the actual strategy now this is the rough planning which we have we have done so you'll have two revisions so 48 day schedule is here this is 48 day schedule okay so jan and feb which i told you these 48 days we have a schedule here so let me tell you what we are going to do see you have 14 chapters in max right out of those 14 chapters i have just written all the chapters chapter 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 till 14 but you can see here it is day 48 which means i'm starting the revision from chapter 14 why because chapter 14 you know chapter 1 2 3 you might have already done for your fps and essays many times chapter 14 is something which has heavy weightage okay chapter 14 always you get heavy weightage questions in this so let me start with the topic which has very heavy weightage which is chapter 14 okay clear everyone so let me adjust my video just give me a second okay so i hope the timetable is clear now so chapter 14 is heavy weightage so we are start starting with chapter 14 so day one i started at 6th january okay so till 5th january i'm giving you rest from 6th january we are going to start so 6th january is going to be day one day two 7th january day three 8th january day four 9th january which means four days i will in four days i will complete your chapter 14 along with the most important questions okay so we are doing the most important questions here okay and the questions which you may expect in your boards the model of questions which they may ask you so those are the questions which i'm going to concentrate okay so four days we will cover chapter 14 that is from 6th to 9th january then next we will move on to chapter 13 chapter 13 i have planned only three days because small chapter probability and 10th 11th 12th you will complete chapter 13 then chapter 12 is only two days i gave because again a very small chapter applications of trigonometry so two days are more than sufficient for that and here anyway you have your sankranti also so i thought let's have small chapters small length videos there so that you can enjoy your day study a little enjoy your day okay 
then chapter 11 you see day 10 11 12 13 so here four days are divided and from 15 to 18 if you see there is no gap from one chapter to other so chapter 9 i i completed 9th chapter 14 i completed 9th january again 10th january only you are starting the next chapter so there is no gap i'm giving you okay and you see this is completed at 12th january and then chapter 12 you started 13th january okay so going this way chapter 11 i'm giving you four days because trigonometry we have few very important questions so we will have to cover all so from 15 to 18 you will do chapter 11 then chapter 10 most of you asked you have many doubts in chapter 10 so that also i gave four days depending on your you know request so from 8 18th you will finish trigonometry then again 19 to 22 you will do mensuration then chapter 9 again three days i have planned so till 22 trig uh, mensuration then again from 23 from 23 to 25 you will do chapter 9 then chapter 8 similar triangles which is like a headache for most of you so four days i planned it in detail i'll explain you here also so from 26 jan to 29th jan you will have this then chapter 7 okay so from 30th jan to sorry 30th jan to 3rd february you will have 7th chapter called in geometry easy one then 6th chapter i gave 5 days because many of you were asking a lot of doubts here in 6th chapter so 5 solid days i allocated for this so from 4th february to 8th february you will be doing chapter 6 then chapter 5 i have allocated 1 2 3 4 days for chapter 5 so from 5th february to 8th february it is enough okay we will do all the word problems also related to this chapter then chapter 4 again three days i gave so fifth to seventh we shall complete chapter three again easy one so three days i gave eighth to tenth all the division algorithm everything we shall complete here then chapter two i gave only two days because one day i will teach you the uh, basics and the other day i'll teach you the essay questions because here i'm going to see here in these in this timetable i'm not going to teach you exercise wise i'm going to summarize concept wise and i'm going to give you a day wise topic so that you will cover the entire syllabus okay so here in two days we shall cover entire set chapter then chapter one i have allocated three days so one day out of which will completely go for logarithms one day will go for euclid's because these are essay questions then one day we shall do the remaining concepts okay so till february 15th as you can see here february 15th we will be covering the entire syllabus understood so here till february 15th only you will be covering the entire syllabus clear so here you go so total 48 days in 48 days we will be covering the syllabus so i hope here everything is clear for you and here 31st we have a gap so after 30 so 31st i did not mention i forgot to mention so here 31st we will have a gap again okay and then first second third 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th and then here, here there is a problem with the date. That's what I was checking for. One second, if you wait, I'll, change, I'll just make the correction. So here after 8th, day 34 will be 9th. This will be 9th, this will be 10th, this will be 11th, this will be 12th then day 38 will be 13 14 15 okay then this will be 16 this will be 17 and this will be 18 and this will be 19 20 21 22 23 okay so roughly here 31st since i missed you you are taking 23 days of your february Okay, so this we are taking 23 days of February since we missed 31st there. So, here only 25 days we are taking in January. Okay, so the remaining days you can use it for your backlog. You don't have to worry about the schedule. Weekly schedule I will share on the channel on the community and we will be following all the weekly schedules. Okay, this is a rough schedule I am giving you so that you can gain your confidence. Okay, and each day almost all we are going to follow this schedule and I am planning for live sessions. Let me know how many of you want live sessions in the channel. I am planning all the sessions to be live. So, if in, you know, unforeseen circumstances, I will give you a recorded session. 
but then i will try to stick to this schedule because we are we will complete the first revision before 20 3rd of February okay I will try to complete as soon as possible before 20th only I will try to wind it up okay in in worst case let us go till 23rd February so first revision will be done here now what about March now what about the second revision why is it so important that you have the second revision C first revision I told you I will teach you the concepts and also I will teach you the most important questions there okay how which model of question you can expect in your boards and all we will be doing in the first revision now second revision okay we will be doing in the month of march in the month of march what i will do is i will take up okay i am dividing the month of march into 14 and 14 days okay so in these 14 days see every day you have 14 chapters right so every day in these 14 chapters okay or let me write it like this You have chapter 1, chapter 2 and so on. So, chapter 1 is divided into two parts. So, first part we will discuss the short answer. Second part we will discuss the long answer. And also we will discuss part B. Here also we will discuss part B. So, in the month of March you will have lot many videos from the channel. So, I will be giving you two videos each day. Okay, one, one short answer video and one part B questions. And all these are going to be your previous year questions which you know most of the times in your board exams previous year questions get repeated a lot so we are going to discuss the previous year questions last 10 years questions we shall discuss okay so one day we will be doing short answer of chapter 1 and part b also the second day we will be doing long answer and part b also so part b lot of questions we will be discussing from a single chapter then for chapter 2 also similarly 2 days we are giving for chapter 2. So like that we will be giving all the see all 14 chapters will require 28 days. So these 14 days we will be doing short answers and these 14 days we will be doing long answers. And plus part B you will do. So here also part B you will do. Is it clear? So by the end of second revision you will be super confident that you can attempt any question given to you. Any question given to you. And you will definitely score 10 on 10. Okay, so this is a schedule I planned for you and I hope you like it and all the classes will be on the channel live. Okay, timing will be mostly 6 p.m. Okay, before day itself, I, I will tell you the timing if there is any change and you will get a weekly schedule on the channel. Okay, I will also give you a weekly schedule on the channel and again, some of you will have doubt whether Telangana people can follow, AP people can follow, better both of you can follow. And there is one more doubt regarding model papers. Telangana model paper earlier which I uploaded. I have re-uploaded with a new update. Okay, the papers have changed. So, I uploaded the new update. So, please check the new update. Okay, new papers not the old ones. AP people, I uploaded the paper already. So, please check it. Okay, and do share this. Okay, do share this with all your friends. So, that you know if more and more people join me live. You know, I can take more live videos for you and I can cover more syllabus for you and I can give you more practice also. I'm planning to conduct some test for you. Okay, some mock test. So, for all these, I need your support. If more people come in, I, I, you know, we get the feeling that more people are on us and we are more responsible to give you more content from the channel. So, please share this channel with all your friends like the video and share this video right now with all your friends so that everyone can right now follow the plan which i am giving you and now the next doubt you all get is what about the other subjects physics i am trying for you okay and let me bring one shot videos for you for other subjects also i am trying one shot videos i can bring and most important questions i can tell you for other subjects as well so that will be included in between the schedule of max schedule only so all I need you to do is just subscribe the channel, share it with your friends as well. The more the number of people utilizing the channel, okay, you use it more, we do more for you, right? So, use the channel more, we do more for you. So, do share it with all your friends and do comment and let me know how did you like the schedule which I gave you right now. If you need any more changes, please let me know below in the comments okay so thank you so much for watching and let's start the revision classes from 6th january be ready with your pen and book on 6th january so we will be live at 6 pm okay so thank you so much for being here bye bye take care and don't forget to share it